Welcome to Plan Watch Walk, the home of great walking and open and honest equipment reviews. We are here today in the North Pennine area of outstanding natural beauty and we are starting the walk at Langdale Beck. We're going to be picking up waterfalls and see great backdrops. We're going to be getting up onto the fells. So um, yeah, really looking forward to this. Before we get going into the walk, we are going to have a look at the, in the route and the map. So uh, let's see what adventures we've got lying ahead. Today's walk finds us starting at Landing Beck, following the River Tees on our way to the waterfall at Cauldron Snout. We then head along the side of Cow Green Reservoir and up onto the fells before our return following Harwood Beck. We're just parked up by the bridge next to the Langdon Beck Hotel. We've got a really nice little start here. Just pan down a little bit. A little waterfall underneath the bridge. So we're going to be going down the side of the road, of the Land and Beck. Sign there for Cow Green Reservoir 3. And we're going to be heading off. So though it's uh, late July, weather-wise, it's a little bit more like sort of October. It's a bit chilly. But let's see how the day pans out and uh, should be a nice one. Plenty you look forward to. We've just come a short way down from parking the car up and we've come to a uh, old bridge here. And the stream we passed just coming out over on the left here. We've got the public footpath. So we need to take the sign for the public footpath and head on down the side of here. We can see ahead of us here we've got the uh, the valley, the, the gorge we're going to be going through, and we've just come across some signage here. So it's the Moor House up at Teesdale, National nature reserve and uh, this is one of the largest in England and it's 88 square kilometers and rises to 2782 feet some size the reserve is famous for its unique arctic alpine plants which have survived since the last ice age today conserved by traditional farming and moorland management there we go and there's a map with a you are here was interesting. Anyway, onward. Very, very peaceful, very, very tranquil. We've just come up to the, the River Tees, the Upper River Tees, and we've got Windy Bank Farm just ahead of us there. And as we look around, if you fancy five, what a fantastic place to have a chair and just sit taking the view. Isn't that stunning? You can see why it's called an area of outstanding natural beauty. It's just stunning. Anyway, onward. It's great to see that it's open access land here. You can basically roam where you want to be roaming. We're going to be roaming over that. So, that's where we're starting, heading up the valley. What a beautiful little valley this is. We've got over on our left, we've got Cronkley Scar. I actually looked for a walk that was going to take us up there a path of route, but um, didn't seem to be a crossing for the river and we've had a lot of rain. This is, uh, believe it or not, July when the rest of the Europe is in a heat wave, the North East has had a lot of rain. So we decided not to go that way because it didn't seem to be a crossing. 
over on the right here is Holm Wharf and what it ends up doing is giving us a really nice path to follow and as we continue along the trail of the the Pennine Way this path is really men well maintained you can see we've got flagstones we've got boards we've got gaps and uh, it's really well maintained it's funny when you're in the uh, the northeast and the Cheviots and the Pennines and things you're not that far away from the Pennine Way it's amazing how many walks that uh, intersect with the Pennine Way and you can sort of see why just the scenery pretty breathtaking to be honest we've left the, the gunny and we've got the Tees just ahead of us and below. Mentioned earlier that there was a route I'd looked at over the far side. I said I wasn't sure if there's a, there's a crossing. Oh well, there is no crossing. So that was a uh, quite a smart move. So we come up to this little tributary here, and we're going to be heading up here towards the waterfall. Well, we just come up a couple hundred meters from the the branch in the river and as we pan round you can probably hear in the background we've got cauldron snout ahead of us to start it cauldron snout this is the bottom bit but it goes up as well so our path is going to take us up the side of here so let's have a look and see what we can see on the way there you go. got to be uh, pretty careful underfoot it's uh, bouldery and quite vertical at times but we've got down here we've got the, the waterfalls and start to get a better view as soon as we go up the ground's a lot flatter now and we've got the dam ahead of us so just need to get around to the headland ahead of us and we can see what's coming up next well, as we come up to the top of Cauldron Snout's waterfall, see that estuary going to it. As we pan around, we have got ahead of us Cow Green Dam. And the other side of the dam is Cow Green Reservoir. So we're going to pick up the road for a little while um, and pick up and go around the side of the up this wee path here. And we just start to see Cow Green Reservoir. Quite a sizable chunk of water. And it's pretty full as well, which is good. So our roots can take us up the side of the reservoir for a wee while. And we're going to pull up on top of the, uh, the fells. Hopefully get some great views on the top of the fells. As we continue along the side of the reservoir, we come to a recognised viewpoint. And there's some great signage you can just see in the, the picture here. And it gives you an understanding of the wildlife, the birds, the scenery. And uh, you can pick this up as you stand there and pan around yourself. And here we've got the, uh, the end of the reservoir before we continue on our trail. For those of you who've watched a few of my videos before, you'll know that I keep turning around and saying, don't forget to look behind you. And yeah, it's one of those moments. So we're leaving the reservoir behind us, just panning around. We're coming up to a disused mining house and works. So just before here, we can just see on the path, we're going to be heading off up to the right. We're going to be heading up onto the fells. We're currently at our highest point and I'll put a map in the top right. 
Looking north, so we can just see the fells over in the background there. That is Innes Hope Moor. As we look round, we look down the valley, and that's where we're going to be heading. So we've got a bit of a, a drop off into the valley, then we're heading down the valley, back down to London Beck. As we look over here, we've got Cronkley Fells. Just the other side ahead of us now, we have Windy Bank Fell. And as we pull round, we have Mickle Fell. So we've got a great panoramic view from the top of here. Come down off the, the top, there's plenty of bogs for us to uh, navigate around. You may just hear the stream in the background, that's Peter Gill's, Peter's Gill Syke. Just see it down here. So we're going to be following this gully down to the small crop of white houses down the bottom. So it's a very gentle ascent down from the, the top here. Well, as we come down off the, the fells, it looks as if the, the river crossing is pretty straightforward just between these uh, farm buildings here. There's a, there's a bridge and then we're heading on down the valley. Nice end to a nice day. Still a little way to go yet though. Well, I'm not sure if you can uh, see anything missing. According to the map, there's a footbridge here, but it's missing. We've had quite a lot of rain and I don't fancy doing that with a pair of boots. That is going to go over the top of my boots and I'm probably going to slip and fall in. Joyous. So, according to the map, that way there's another footbridge. So uh, we'll go and have a look at that one. Hopefully there'll be a footbridge there. Adventures, adventures. Anyway, onward. Well, on our little tour, detour rather, we have now come across Willow Hole Psych and Peter Gill's Psych, which is going into more of a main river. So, we're going to have to try and find somewhere here a crossing point. Yeah. We'll find one. <laughs> Honest. It's only a couple of hundred metres further up I managed to find somewhere. So, we are continuing now on the southern side. I think there's another little uh, tributary we need to, to cross as well as we get a bit further down. Aha! Aha! So, option two exists. That's nice. I didn't fancy going across the, uh, the river. Uh, I'll adjust the mapping and everything so when it goes out and goes live all the mapping will be relevant to what we've actually done and not what I thought was going to happen. But uh, yeah, we've got a nice little valley walk up up here. So just need to cross over and then we're going to be uh, keeping on going. Come over the, the bridge, continue on the path. We've got this disused building on our right. That to me looks like an old church, just the windows, the very high peaks, and domes, and everything. I'll just come around to have a look at the, uh, this, what I think's a church. And you never get the camera quick enough, but there's two barn owls here as well. It's all pretty well abandoned and disused. Or you just pass through the farm and come over the bridge and just see ahead of us there, the stream. We need to take the, the road and the fork, cattle grids. So we're just going to be down the, the side of a, a road for a, 
a short while and we've got something like two three miles to go and I think it'll be a very pleasant end to the walk looking forward to it we're currently at Green Hills on our way back see a map in the top right hand and we're looking down there towards Langley Beck. We can just see a, a, um, a bridge, so that's pretty much Langley Beck. As we pull around, what's really nice about doing a circular walk is quite often you can see where you've been. Across in front of us there is Cronley Scars, and we went through the valley. And what a beautiful scenery. And we've had lots of birds and wildlife. We've had uh, curlews, oyster catchers. We've had some um, some owls, and there's geese, there's ducks, there's wrens, there's bullfinches, lots and lots of activity. Well, what a really nice way to finish off the walk, just having a wander along the side here of Harwood Beck. As we pan round, we've got pretty much centre of screen now. That's the bridge, so we'll get to the bridge and then just after that is back to the start of the walk. Nice way to finish off. Nice and nice and mellow and peaceful. Sadly that's the end of this walk. We've had some, some great variation in here. We've had some um, the, the valley, the streams, the waterfall, getting up onto the top some great views across the fells and then a really pleasant walk back to the conclusion of the walk if you like what we do why not subscribe love you could do that thumbs up are great uh, any comments fantastic remember there's a whole load of content load of links below and um, there's you know check check the website out as well there's a, there's a real wealth of information sitting inside there all for you. So until the next walk, bye for now.